Hello guys and welcome to a new Industrial Craft 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the nuclear reactor of Industrial Craft 2 and the nuclear nuclear reactor is made by four dense bleed plates, a free reactor chamber, one advanced circuit and one a normal generator. So it is a mid game till a late game item from Industrial Craft 2 and um, here we have a normal nuclear reactor. You can um, use it to produce some energy. And um, how we can produce it? We need a fuel rod um, of uranium and um, we need a lever. And we will start it and we can see that we are producing already 5 EU per tick and um, our temperature of the core of the nuclear reactor is increasing and um, that means that we need to cool down our nuclear reactor because we are we um otherwise we will get some damage in our environment or um we will get a meltdown and that's not our um solution what we want to uh, get and um to cool down we can use a heat vent for example and the heat vent in this case will cool down all of these nuclear reactors and the temperature is not in in increasing anymore and um, if we also use an overclock heat vent for example we can um, decrease our core temperature um, because that's um, two diff different types of vents. Um, so um, that we can cool down our reactor. There are also exchanger. These exchanger will um, will give um, some heat next to the next item. For example, you can use it like this, so that um, this heat exchanger uses the um, uses the heat and gives gives the heat to the overclocked heat vent. Okay. Um, there's also a, a possibility to um, to save your environment um, and your home um, with a reinforced stone and you will also um, get the opportunity to increase your slots in your nuclear reactor with reactor chamber. Um, in this case I, um, I created two reactor chambers here so that we have two uh, lines um, this way and this way and we, we can see that um, our nuclear have a reactor has more slots okay and let me take it off okay and um, at least we here we have a, a fully built reactor and if, um, in this case we can see one of um, different types of setups. In this case I use um, quad fuel rods uranium with overclocked heat vents and component heat vents. And if I say um, let's start we can see that we are already output 240 EU per tick. Okay, it's a it's a small setup, but it's a it's a very safe setup. Um, so you don't need to do anything else. You just need to replace the um, quad fuel rods um, after um, if it is um, if the durability is over. Um, there's also another setup here. We can uh, see that we will get a lot of damage here, and um, we can see the uh, temperature of the core is very high. At uh, this moment, we are by uh, we are at uh, four eighty forty eight a percent, and um, we can uh, see a look at the setup. You can uh, see that we use some advanced heat vents, component heat exchangers, component heat um, vents, and some heat vents in this case. And um, yeah, that's a that's a possible setup um, but uh, there you need to know that you at first need to increase your temperature uh, at the core so that um, if you if you are using a core temperature by round about 84 person um, percent or in this case uh, 8448 degree um, you are able to get out um, some a lot of more energy we can take a look at these reactor here and then that's the same setup here and if I put it as on and we can see the decree is at zero you can see our normal output is by 300 EU per tick okay um, the last thing I need to say is that um, that there is also a fluid reactor um, of um, industrial craft um, or, or the nuclear reactor. And the fluid reactor is a normal nuclear re reactor with uh, six chambers and uh, um, 
and a building with reactor pressure vessels and um, two fluid ports and one reactor access hatch and one way the reactor redstone port but there's also a, another video for the fluid reactor yeah i hope i could tell you something about it and um, the last thing i need to say if um, if you are um, holding some dual fuel wards or quad fuel wards you need a special armor um, in, in my case i'm wearing a quantum suit and um, but uh, there's also the possibility to um, we use a hazmat suit with a scuba um, a scuba uh, mask and um, rubber boots um, to um, don't get uh, some radiation effect. Thanks for watching and bye.